Hello, in today's video what I will be doing is setting up an Ethernet to my laptop and the reason why I have decided to do this is because when I got my NAS I moved my editing hard drive from my desktop over to the NAS and the reason why I did that is providing that the editing software is set up on the computers, in this case my desktop and my laptop, it means I would be able to stream files from the NAS and edit them either on my desktop or on my laptop and I could jump between my desktop and my laptop without actually losing any progress because it will all be saved on the NAS. Now from my desktop and my NAS I do have a gigabit setup and I do get gigabit speeds and I can say that editing on my desktop over gigabit speeds is plenty fast enough for the type of content that I do. So editing videos on my desktop I'm perfectly happy with but after editing several videos on my laptop using the Wi-Fi so that's just streaming the files uh, over the Wi-Fi I can say that editing on my laptop is an absolute nightmare because the Wi-Fi does not get gigabit speed and I am literally sat there for sometimes minutes just waiting for the video files to like stream over to my laptop to where I can begin editing them. So because of this like waiting time just for the Wi-Fi to stream it over to my laptop, I have decided to go ahead and purchase a 7.5 meter ethernet cable. Cat6 Gigabit Certified. And the reason why I have a 7.5 meter cable is because I'm going to have it routed from the router up across the wall, down over the clock and into my laptop. And I also went on the hunt for these little cable tie things. So simply when you've just got the cable up on the wall, you put this over the cable and then hammer that in. And it holds the cable in place, which is a uh, very nice for cable management. To give you a better understanding of what I'm trying to do in this video, I will now take the camera off the tripod and show you just the sort of concept idea that I have developed. I keep my laptop here and there are no ethernet ports or just any like internet phone line ports or anything over at this side of the room. So I need to rely on Wi-Fi. As you can see there, the ethernet port is empty. So this is where I work on my laptop. And over at the other side of the room is the closest internet access point, which is down there. So my plan is I'm going to get this ethernet cable, plug it into the router, then route it up the wall, up the wall behind the monitors, go right up to the very top of the wall to where there's like sort of that crease in the ceiling where two different plasterboards meet each other. I'm going to run it along the edge of that crease, which stops there. I'm going to have it going up and around over the top of the clock and I'm just going to have it come down here and plug into my laptop there. So hopefully that made sense to you. It made sense to me, but then again, it would do because I'm the one that like originated all of this idea. So obviously I understand it better than uh, you do, but hopefully my explanation was good enough to where you can now understand what I'm wanting to do. Now to test this idea that I've got, before I start nailing the cable to the walls and running it along the wall and all of that messing about, I'm simply going to take the ethernet cable, pull it into my router, run it along the floor and plug it into my laptop just to see if this idea I have actually works. It should work fine because the ethernet is only 7.5 meters long. It's cat six and I know cat six can support up to 100 meters long or something like that. I think that's cat six anyway. And and as for the quality of this Ethernet cable, I have bought it from CSL Computer off Amazon, which is the business behind the Amazon page that sells these Ethernet cables. Now I don't know if they actually manufacture and sell the cables or if they're just like a sort of store place to where they buy from the supplier and then sell on. But judging by the price I paid for this, I'm going to say that these are probably the people that manufacture the cables because they were at supplier's price, they were not at retail price. And I can say that ever since I've been buying ethernet cables for myself, I've always bought from CSL Computer, and so far I have not had a dodgy or fake cable from them at all. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm 99.9% .9 certain that this cable is legitimate. Now the reason why I'm saying 99.9 .9 is because even though it may be a legitimate cable that's not fake, uh, there is still the possibility for it to be defective. But with all of that said, I'm now going to, well, do this little test setup that I've just told you about. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm now going to begin cable managing the cable. I'm going to start off at this end and then work my way along. Uh, and then once I get over there, I'll have all of the excess cable over there and I'll be able to cable manage it behind my desk. Or at least that's the plan. I've only just realised that I think I should have bought a white cable instead of a black cable, but I, I can live with it. I got it for functionality, not appearance, so at least it's nice and managed. Complete. Not the best, but it could be a lot worse. So, there's my laptop's ethernet, now set up, which is good. So here's the final setup of the cable. I've been using it now for two days, and I can say I couldn't be happier with the performance. As I showed you at the start of the video, I do get gigabit speeds both to and from my NAS down there. So this is what the cable setup looks like. And yes, I do have a different router from the video when I originally made the network board. My old router wasn't compatible with gigabit speeds, so I had to upgrade. So this is the cable here. Remember that this was a 7.5 meter cable and this is all that's left of it. So it's a good job I measured it out because I was planning on getting a 5 meter cable but as we can see that wouldn't have been long enough. But anyway the cable just comes down here. I've put the excess of the cable down here so there's no like coils or anything like that loop on the wall or anything. So yeah it just plugs into the router there. It goes up uh, and around. It goes up and along the wall along here, over the clock, and down into my laptop's ethernet port there. So that is the final ethernet setup for my laptop. And looking back, I think I should have got a white cable, because even though the background's beige, so a white cable would still be visible, it would be not as obvious as the black cable. But I've already got it all purchased and installed, so I'm not going to bother changing it now. Uh, after all, I got it for functionality and not appearance. And that brings us nicely to the end of this video, so if you have enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't, then give it a dislike. Also, consider subscribing to see future videos of mine. And as always, thank you for watching.